Welcome to Improbyte. Today we're going to talk about Rough Query and how it relates to investigative analytics. We search and explore because we are curious. Curiosity helps us to uncover the stuff we did not know that we did not know. Doing data discovery and exploratory querying is oftentimes the first step in our learning process. We use this approach on any type of data or information. For instance, using a browser, do a Google search for the word green. We'll get a range of outcomes from the results, and using them, we will determine how we want to narrow down the results. You can see how this type of investigative analytic query helps us in finding the information that we're looking for. Now, let's add blog to the search criteria, and as you can see, the results are even more relevant. So what did we just learn? Investigative analytics are very interactive and iterative. So let's look at some of the advantages of Rough Query. First, it speeds up the data mining process by up to 20 times. It enables very fast iterative queries into large volumes of data. You select roughly to instantly see an interval range of data using the knowledge grid, and you can add additional filtering using where clauses. The results are always guaranteed to be accurate. How do we use Rough Query in SQL? Select roughly ID from web block. In this example, the min value is 1 and the max value is 7. The keyword roughly is used to evaluate the columns indicated. Roughly is used to tell the query optimizer to use the knowledge grid only and to return the range of values. This means that the results are processed in memory and returned instantaneously. Let's look at a rough query in action. Let's say we wanted to find out the average number of hits a search engine was sending us. First, we'd find out how many records we have, and as you can see, it's approximately 510 million. We could do a select min and a select max, but using select roughly gives us the exact tool that we need to return the range of values. And as you can see, the range of IDs is 1 through 7. So taking that criteria, we can then add that to our roughly and find out the range of hits per session is between 5 and 25 for Yahoo, and MSN returns a range of 55 to 85 hits per session. In conclusion, Rough Query enables the exploratory or investigative analytics for real-time querying so it can be used in an iterative process. Rough Query works with both numerical and date-time data and has support for aggregate functions like sum, min, max, and average. Rough Query also supports filtering through the use of where clauses but does not support group by or join. Another amazing breakthrough brought to you by Infobrite, the keyword roughly. Just another example of working smarter and not harder. Join us at www. Infobright.org and meet the open source database community.